Hey guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we'll be visiting Fecto.net once again, and we're, go we're going to be doing an updated MCMMO guide for 1.12. The previous video I made was on 1.8 before the uh, survival server reset, so now we're going to be doing the updated version on the methods that I think are the best on the server. Now this is an MCMMO guide for just the server, this server specifically, because uh, some methods are blocked on here. Um, but yeah, so I think we're going to get started. So a simple command to see all your stats is uh, slash MC stats and excavation is going to be the first one. Now, as the epic shovel, um, I have an epic shovel, but you can use any shovel that you desire. All you, all you, all you have to do is dig any kind of um, block that gives you uh, that is mineable with a shovel properly. So just like so, you mine grass, you can mine uh, underwater too with water breathing. You'll get these guys, they'll give you keys and lots of other things, sometimes enchantment tokens. Now if you right click with the shovel, that'll get your epic ability going, which will give you times two, 50, or I think it's triple. All you have to do is type slash excavation and check. So the Giga Drill Breaker, the ability that we just use is times three drop rate, XP and speed. So that'll help you every few hundred seconds there getting that really high excavation level um i'm pretty sure the higher it is the more treasures you get with um the treasure hunter and the higher length your giga drill will be all right we're gonna go to the next ability fishing is a pain in the butt it's not my favorite skill but it can be done so if we come over here to the water we just throw our uh our rod into the water Catch that fish, just keep doing it like so. My fishing level is quite high, so I like throwing it out in the deeper water. Now if we type slash fishing while we're waiting here for the fish, uh, you get treasure hunter, uh, which brings up miscellaneous objects, so like music discs, anything like that. Uh, magic hunter finds enchanted items. Ice fishing allows you to improve uh, fishing in icy biomes. Master angler, um, it improves chance. Oh, we got him. Improves chance of getting a bite while fishing, which is really nice. So the higher the level, the more uh, chance you'll get. Shake items off mobs with fishing poles. I haven't really tested this, but I'm pretty sure it works. Uh, improves hunger restored from fishing, from fished food, so like fish and stuff. And you can see, oh, see, sometimes it's not the best stuff that you get while you're fishing. Um, the higher your fishing level, the more chance you get uh, for keys here. Um, magic hunter chance there, so the more chance to find uh, enchanted items and stuff like that. Before we get to the next skill, I want to talk about fishing. Now, fishing and repair are sister skills into salvage. When you get a high enough salvage level, you see how they are repaired here. So they combine into one level. And the gain levels from parent skills so uh, you can salvage damage damage items at a level 350 and extract enchantment items with um, arcane salvaging so sometimes when you use it on an iron block um, you can get the enchantments uh, still on the item instead of it stripping all the enchanted uh, enchantments off the items all right now we have Herbalism next on our stats list. So if we check here, we have Herbalism as our next skill. It's uh, under Gathering Skills. So th this is just a simple layout of one of my favorite little uh, Herbalism grinders here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna finish up here. Put the hopper. Now I use the note block, but it's, it's definitely optional. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some grass blocks and just throw those on top here. Uh, some, you can make it smaller, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I like making it relatively big, just so I can clear more. Now the one I usually have in my base is pretty small here. So, what's gonna happen is once we fill this up 
with some bone meal. I usually just get two chests. And then I get some bone meal. Oh. I'll put the chest up here, and when I kill some skeletons or whatever, that'll fill up. And then, you grab yourself a hoe, and you type slash enchant. And whenever you can get the skill, you can add MCMMO to it, which gets you even more XP. Just go sideways like that. Just like so. And the reason why you want to make it smaller is just so you can reach all the grass. This is a little too big. But yeah. All right. Our next skill is mining. So we're going to go to the nether. And I learned this method off somebody else. But once you get past all the crazy lava, the best thing you want to do is definitely get yourself an excavation pick, which mines a ton. Oh, you want to get out of the barrier zone actually first. That would be smart. So let's get out of here. Find a proper spot to mine and then just go ham with the excavation pick. there you go as you see we got our excavation uh, our mining level up two levels and I mean it takes a lot of XP to get it level as high as mine but yeah that's basically how you do it excavation is gonna help you guys a ton when it comes to mining plus you get tons of blocks that you can sell on the shop so yeah let's get on to the next skill All right, next up is wood cutting. Now, I was slightly mistaken on my last video when it came to wood cutting, so I wanna make that up to you guys. Now, if you find like a mushroom island or something like that, this helps, but if not, just buy yourselves a few blocks of mycelium or whatever this stuff is called, a shroom block, to just make a little mycelium square or whatever, it doesn't matter, and then just grab yourselves some red mushrooms i think yeah red mushrooms it doesn't have to be a lot just uh and then i mean go to your herbalism grinder and steal some of that uh steal some of that bone meal that you collected you just grab the bone meal right click your shrooms sometimes it'll take a while or i mean if it's too close to your other shroom just go up and mine the whole shroom as fast as you can these things give you a ton of xp and i promise you in the higher levels chopping down normal trees is going to be much slower than if you were to do this method plus you also get just a free amount of mushrooms so yeah i mean it's really quick you see how high my wood cutting level is it's almost even with a regular axe it's almost like a one hit with mushrooms but yeah so yeah th that's how you get wood cutting up quite a bit faster but we're going to go ahead and try to do archery. And uh, we're going to turn down our sound a bit. So my bass is quite loud. So what we want to do is get our bow. It should have infinity on it. Grab one arrow. Now I'm pretty sure it's kind of bugged. So it works. Okay, never mind. It wasn't working a while ago. But uh, I use this little contraption. So I like killing skeletons with archery, seeing as it can be a one-hit kill. But yeah, you just shoot these blazes, and it'll get your archery up. Now, blazes by far give the best MCMO experience, other than creepers, I think. I wonder if creepers give. Yeah, creepers give MCMO experience. Now, these two are quite a bit. Yeah, it... honestly, there we go. Creepers are better. So yeah, that's how you get up MCMMO experience through archery. Our next skill is axes, I do believe. Now this isn't the same as wood cutting, but you do need an axe. I like to use my uh, epic axe here. It's sharpness six. You can just simply add sharpness five to your own axe. So you can let those blazes down again. Now the max level for axes on the server is only a thousand. I don't know why that is, but it just so happens to be that way. Now if you see the spam down below, it says critical hits, 
struck with great force, you guys can just simply type slash MC notify to get rid of that. And that will no longer spam. Now, if we look at the axis tab, um, axes are pretty OP. So there's skull splitter, which is AOE damage, which is the right click ability here. So when you go to click, um, oh, that was laggy. I don't know why that's stop. It'll start doing lots of explosions. Um, critical strike does double damage. And all this stuff has um, percentages. Like uh, critically strike damage is a 37.5% chance. And as you level this up, all this yellow lettering will go up, obviously. Um, so when you level it up higher and higher, you get a higher percent and more damage, more bonus damage. Um, armor impact, it does bonus damage to armor, so more points done to armor durability. Chance to critically strike, we went through that. Greater impact, deals two bonus damage to unarmed foes. So yeah, it's, it's pretty OP. Our next skill would be swords. Swords are just the bread and butter of combat. Now, to, now there's a weird bug on the server that makes you need to fly when you use swords or else it will just kill the whole stack on you like that. So you just fly and then you kill them like that. Make sure you're flying. Just like that. Creepers are bugs as well. They don't keep their stack very well. So we just wait for those to come down. Just kill those up. Now that's blazes and creepers again are by far the best experience when it comes to the uh, combat MC Mimo XP. Creepers are more so more XP, but because they're bug, it's a pain in the butt. So let's look at swords. Swords are pretty pretty basic. There's a counter attack which reflects 50% of damage while taking while blocking, so you can block obviously. Um, serrated strike is your ability, so you shift right click, and that'll ready your sword. That'll make all your enemies bleed. Sorry about the lag. So that's cool. Um, Serrated Strike Bleed. This is just a passive effect. Um, so for five ticks, the enemies will bleed out. Uh, bleed chance is 75% chance with my level. Uh, counter attack chance is 30% with my level. Bleed length is three ticks. One tick happens every two seconds. So two, four, six seconds long. So right strike lasts 37, 36 seconds, which is quite a while. So once you level it up, you get those kind of OP durations and all that stuff. All right, let's go on to the next ability. All right, next skill would be taming. Now taming is a rather difficult skill to upgrade uh, just because you need wolves. And yeah, w w wolves are, are kind of hard to find in the wild because mobs aren't aren't spawned as much just to keep server life down so if you want to do taming i have no way to demonstrate it to you because i have no both spawners but if you can spawn a wolf in tame it with a bow with a bone or whatever and then all you have to do is fight mobs basically with your wolves with your tamed wolves and that would be how you get taming up rather quickly make sure they are obviously tamed and then you fight mobs with them again that's how you get the most xp from it all right let's get on to the next level Unarmed. Now make sure you have nothing in your inventory. It won't work if you have something in your hand. It has to be with just an open fist. Again, blazes and creepers are pretty good with unarmed. Now another method is spiders. I like to do spiders as well with unarmed because I mean they're really easy to kill with just your hand on a lower level. So you just, uh oh, I think my grinder is a little busted. I have to fix that later, but yeah, spiders are pretty, uh, pretty simple to get XP on. All you gotta do is punch them, and that's how that works. Now, unarmed is great because if we look here, unarmed, um, iron arm prevents you from being disarmed, which is I, I don't know if this works. I, I haven't really tested it. I don't PVP a lot, but it prevents you from being disarmed, which. Um, Iron arm style hardens your arm over time, deflects arrows chance, drops the foe's item held in hand, and 50% damage breaks weak material, which is the berserk ability. So if you right click and then you just punch stuff that's weak, um, I'm pretty sure it's like grass and wood and stuff. But yeah, berserk also does double damage. 
traps and stuff. But that's simply how you get unarmed up. Acrobatics. Acrobatics is a fun little skill because there's nothing like just falling out of the sky and leveling up a, like, it's crazy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with just a random block. I like to do it this way. If you have fly, this makes life a lot easier. You just build up like this, like a giant staircase per se. Like so. It doesn't have to be a certain amount. Just make sure you're not gonna die per fall. So, what you do is you set home up here, set home, acro, and then you just, when you fall, make sure you hold shift, and then you'll fall like so. Now, if we just go home acro, that'll pop us up there. Make sure you have your fly off or else it's not gonna do it. Just hold shift. The more graceful landings you get, the more XP you get, and there we go. So just go home acro again and you'll spawn back up there and just keep falling. Make sure your health doesn't get too low. Usually a regeneration beacon. Um, a regeneration beacon will help you regain your health as you fall. Or you just wear some um, feather falling boots. Feather falling boots uh, obviously prevents damage. So let's look what acrobatics has for us in store. Roll reduces or negates fall damage. Graceful roll twice as effective as normal roll. Dodge and reduces attack damage by half. I mean, with unarmed and acrobatics, this is pretty pretty intense. So you can you have a chance to reduce damage, and you have a chance to completely block it. Dodge chance is uh, three point nine percent. Graceful roll thirty one. And this helps if you fall from a high height without fly or something. Say um, say you you don't have veteran or up. If you don't have fly, this can be really helpful to have acrobatics up. So yeah. Just find a controlled place where you can fall over and over again while holding shift. It'll get your level up and reduce your fall damage. If you don't have the luxury of having veteran plus without fly, it's it's a pretty good skill. Plus, I mean, dodging as well. That's pretty good. All right, next skill is alchemy. Alchemy is pretty straightforward. All you got to do is get yourself some brewing stands. I mean, blaze rods are definitely not uh, hard to come by. So you just make a brewing stand or so. This is also another good money making guide. I have it in a previous video on my channel. But yeah, just grab yourself some brewing stands, whatever. Put them, put them down here. All you need is a water source, some water bottles. But we're gonna be lazy and buy some water bottles. So where are they? Here we go. We're just gonna use this little blaze stand here. Get yourself some nether wards. You can make a, a little farm or whatever. Get those mundane potions so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start building uh strength potions or brewing strength potions not really building to give us a mundane or awkward potion or whatever yeah here's some awkward potions we're just gonna throw a blaze rod in there oh i'm stupid not a blaze rod we need blaze powder and we're just gonna throw some blaze powder in there just one Alright, and then we got our blaze potion, um, our blaze, our, not blaze potion, our, um, strength potion, we can add maybe just a little touch of either glowstone dust, or you can add gunpowder, which will make them splash. Just wait this out, and we're done. There we go, we got strength potion too. When you remove those, you'll get your XP, and you just want to keep doing that. So, yeah. Hakami is pretty slow, but once you get to level 150, I recommend making haste potions as they're pretty pretty good XP as well, which would be carrot and just an awkward potion as well. Let's look at what the alchemy gives us. So as you level up, uh, you get catalysis or I don't know how to pronounce that very well so it increases potion brewing speed which can be helpful um, and concoctions brew potions with more ingredients all right I don't do alchemy very <laughs> very often either I don't find it very useful I I'm lazy and I buy all my potions so <laughs> let's check out what the next stat is it would be repair now I like doing repair but at first you're gonna need an iron set of armor 
Oh yeah, okay. So I'm gonna get some diamond. But for you guys, if you're below level 50, please use iron. Uh, you can't use diamond when you're... When you're... Um, if you're below level 50, you can't use diamond anyways. Alright, so we're just gonna stand on top of a cactus. Well, in this case, I'm gonna fly. And then you just carefully watch your armor. And we'll be back when it's pretty much decayed. So for repair, you can either use a cactus or a magma block, and you just stand on top of it. And this will reduce the armor's durability quite quickly. And once you get your armor low enough, you just take it off and let the other parts break down. Now, this isn't fully broken down, but just as an example, you go over here, you want to find your iron blocks. In this case, I'm just going to craft one real quick. You put down that iron block, take the armor piece, put it in your hotbar, and then right click. Oh, actually, you'll, I mean, you'll need the ingredient to repair. So you just right click. And there you have it. Don't upgrade enchanted items. This will strip all the enchantments that are custom off the item, and you do not want that. So yeah, just keep, um, just repair regular iron until you're level 50, and then after 50, do diamond. Now, let's take a look at what repair does for us. Repair, again, is a parent skill to salvage, which I previously explained in the other video, in the other, um, before when I was doing fishing. So repair, repair tools and armor, increases repair amount with the repair mastery. I'm not a fan of this because if you can repair it more uh, in less ticks there, the more XP you get, in my opinion. Uh, diamond repair, 50 plus skill. Arcane forging, which is um, pretty insane. So arcane, I'm pretty sure um, it lets you keep enchanted uh, uh, custom enchants on the armor but if you guys need to read up more on it you just type the repair question page on there all right so seeing as we already checked out what salvage is we're going to look at um smelting this is another parent skill here i have mine's level 207 you gain levels from parent skills here mining and repair so fuel efficiency this increases the burn time of fuel used in furnaces when smelting second smelt doubles the resources gained from smelting vanilla xp boost increases vanilla xp gaining while smelting flux mining chance for ores to be instantly smelted while mining now if you check down below here your stats the yellow tells you the percent and times that these all in order have for you now flux mining does not unlock until level 250 which is a pretty pretty close i'm pretty close and this is pretty op too because if you got that iron ore it instantly smells into iron and it, then then you make iron doors sell in a wide shop it's pretty op guys well i know this wasn't the most organized mcmmo video but uh, to be honest it's the updated version <laughs> Is basically the same video except for me. I changed a few things up with wood cutting and mining and stuff like that Just some better techniques to level up for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video If you did leave a like comment, maybe even subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated guys. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye now